Hello everybody, today I'm inspired to talk about A Course in Miracles Lesson 16, I Have No Neutral Thoughts. In this mind training exercise, the intent is to bring awareness, is to train the mind to bring awareness to the fact that our thoughts are not neutral, they're charged. And why is this important? This is important because what we see is based upon how we are thinking. In fact, the Course says, everything you see is the result of your thoughts. There is no exception to this fact. Everything we see is a result of our thinking. Then it behooves us to explore, to be aware, to recognizing the thoughts that pass our mind. Which ones are we attaching to? Which ones are we aligning with? Thoughts are not big or little, powerful or weak. They are merely true or false. Those that are true create their own likeness. Those that are false make theirs. We see a world of fear. We see a world of death, of war, of disease. We recognize to some degree that there's something beyond that. And we want to see that. But in order to see something different, we must align with thoughts that are different. We must align with thoughts that are true. As we align with thoughts that are true, truth will make itself evident. Truth will create like itself, more of itself, in our experience. We will perceive truth to the degree in which we believe in truth. We believe in the thoughts of truth. There is no more self-contradictory concept than that of idle thoughts. What gives rise to the perception of the whole world can hardly be called idle. This is important to stop, pause, and recognize. There are no idle thoughts. The world rises, the world as we see it comes together because of thoughts. There's something very powerful in that. Every thought you have contributes to truth or to illusion. Either it extends the truth or it multiplies illusion. You can indeed multiply nothing, but you will not extend it by doing so. So what the Course is referring to when it talks about illusion being multiplied, let's take an illusory idea. Let's take the idea of death. We believe in death. We have thoughts about death. My father died when I was 13. I'm sure you know somebody who's died, perhaps in your family, perhaps your neighbor, perhaps a cousin. I don't know. Everybody knows someone who died. Maybe someone close. Maybe someone not so close. Death is shown to us on television, in the movies. We read about it in the newspaper. Illusion is multiplied. Disease. Who doesn't know someone who's suffering, who's not suffering from cancer? Everybody knows somebody who's suffering from cancer. We see walks for the cure, fight for the cure. The idea is multiplied. Illusion is multiplied. We hear stories about cancer. War. News. If you look at the news, it is always the same. It is Political war information, political scandal, uh, business, murder, some weather, and some humanity story. It's the same thing. It is multiply. Love. Love is abstract. Love is an extension of affection. It can't be divided. You can't have half happiness. You can't have half joy. You're either happy or, or you're not. Either you're joyous or you're not. Truth is whole. Besides your recognizing that thoughts are never idle, salvation requires that you also recognize that every thought you have brings either peace or war, either love or fear. A neutral result is impossible because a neutral thought is impossible. There is such a temptation to dismiss fear thoughts as unimportant, trivial, and not worth bothering about, that it is essential you recognize them all as equally destructive, but equally unreal. We will practice this idea in many forms before you really understand it. So what the Course is aiming to shed light on is the fact that we dismiss most of our idle thinking. For me, in my experience, I know I've many times justified thoughts of fear or thoughts that are illusory because it is normal. In this world, it's normal to worry about money. In this world, it's normal to worry about health. 
in this world, there's a lot of normal thinking, but this world is an illusion. It's illusory thinking. And so to dismiss it keeps me in the thoughts of this world, which keeps me perceiving this world of fear, of death, of poverty, of lack, and so forth. So what the Course is saying is we can't dismiss it because although they're equally unreal, they're still destructive. Destructive to what? To peace of mind, to truth. False thoughts will bring about their likeness as well. The other day I was, and it's so funny because these thoughts come out of the blue and they seem to occupy our mind and we take them too seriously without even being aware. And the other day I came home I had purchased a black polo and um, I was going to wear it that night and I tried it on for the first time when I got home and I was looking in the mirror and I saw that it fit me really well on the arms and on the on my shoulders but um, when I'm looking down in the mirror I couldn't help but notice my gut was sticking out. I was like oh my god I look like a fat pig and I sucked in my stomach and you know kind of tucked in the shadows. I thought, I thought to myself well I, I guess I can hold my stomach in for most of the night and no one noticed. Now I share this story with you because it seems very trivial but I need to examine my thoughts about that because if I'm attached to that and I believe that then I'm subscribing again to the illusion of that. I'm subscribing to the belief of my body. I'm still intertwined in the suffering. Seems trivial, but it's still a dis disruptive to my state of mind. And we have all kinds of trivial thoughts throughout the day. And the intent of this exercise is really to stop and say, hey, that thought that you thought was trivial, it's not neutral. Do you want to keep it? It's an opportunity to say, do I want to stay aligned with this? I can discern whether or not this is something I want to keep going with or do I want to give that one up? Do I want to shed light on it? You know, to be vigilant for God is to be vigilant for love, which is to be vigilant for truth, which is to be vigilant for true thoughts.